Welcome back to Cruising America, everyone. Today we're visiting Cliff Palace Overlook in Mesa Verde National Park. We're Stephen Kathleen. We're Cruising America in our 35-foot fifth-wheel RV, chasing 70-degree weather year-round. If you'd like to watch our previous videos, please click the Cruising America playlist link in the description below this video. Otherwise, enjoy our current episode starting now. We spent numerous days in the park visiting several cliff dwellings. We also visited all the exhibits and overlooks on Weather Rail Mesa and Mesa Top Loop. Unfortunately, the Cliff Palace Loop was closed. Cliff Palace is one of the premier cliff dwellings in Mesa Verde. We'd love to have toured it, but it was closed for restoration. Mesa Verde National Park has more than 4,500 archaeological sites. Of course, it's why we're here. But the flip side is, these sites must be maintained. Consequently, a certain portion of the sites, including cliff dwellings, are constantly closed, obviously on a rotating basis. This is something to bear in mind if you intend to see all the cliff dwellings and exhibits in Mesa Verde. You're going to have to make several visits over several years. Another consideration, the tours. All cliff dwellings except Step House require a tour ticket. Depending on visitor demand, some dwellings may not be available, especially later in the season. Recent studies reveal Cliff Palace contain 150 rooms and 23 kivas and had a population of approximately 100 people. Out of the nearly 600 cliff dwellings concentrated within the boundaries of the park, 75% contain only one to five rooms each and many are single room storage units. Cliff Palace is an exceptionally large dwelling relative to the others and may have had special significance to the original occupants. Scientists believe Cliff Palace was a social and administrative site with high ceremonial usage. Many visitors look at the size of the doorways in Cliff Palace and other cliff dwellings and wonder about the size of the people who once lived here. An average man was about 5 feet 5 inches tall, while an average woman was 5 feet 1 inch. Compared with European people of the same period, that would have been about the same size. The ancestral Pueblo people's average lifespan was relatively short, due in part to the high infant mortality rate. Most people lived an average of 32 to 34 years. However, some people did live into their 50s and 60s. Approximately 50% of the children died before they reached the age of 5. Sandstone, mortar, and wooden beams were the three primary construction materials for the cliff dwellings. The ancestral Pueblo people shaped each sandstone block using harder stones collected from nearby riverbeds. The mortar between the blocks is a mixture of local soil, water, and ash. From the late 13th century to the 1880s, Cliff Palace slowly deteriorated from the effects of water, wind, freeze-thaw cycles, differential fill levels, a variety of animals, spalling on the alcove roof, and the inherent qualities of the prehistoric structures themselves. Still remarkably impressive, the effects of time were nevertheless evident. However, with the discovery of Cliff Palace in the late 1800s, this gradual process of decay rapidly accelerated. 
casual visitation, and commercial exploration employed everything from pick and shovel to dynamite in an effort to recover all types of artifacts. In the end, the form and fabric of Cliff Palace was heavily damaged throughout its extent, with the natural processes of deterioration now altered by human activity. Visit the National Park Service's Preserving Cliff Palace webpage to learn more about the work involved in preserving this remarkable piece of American history. To learn how the park continues to preserve archaeological sites for future generations, visit the Archaeological Site Conservation Program page.